Right now, Minnesota schools are making changes as more children catch COVID-19. The Burnsville Egan Savage School District is moving most students to distant learning. It starts tomorrow and runs through the end of next week. The district says a lot of kids are getting sick and there's evidence the virus is spreading inside schools. Mariel Mose joins us live from an elementary school in Burnsville with more. Shayla, Edward Neal Elementary School behind me here is still full of students and staff because today is their last day of in-person learning before they switch to virtual for the next six days. This was a decision that they made in recommendation with the Dakota County Public Health Department. The trends they're seeing in the district right now include high case counts and high levels of transmission in the community, especially among children ages five to seven, as well as rising case counts and evidence of transmission in some of the schools. This is leading to more students needing to quarantine, which is having too much of an impact on on teaching and after school programs. I spoke with the district superintendent who told me 500 students have been out of class quarantined across the district just in the last week. It becomes more and more difficult for staff who are asked to cover classes on top of a staff shortage and then uh, students being out and they don't have a full day of instruction when they're out for the 10 days of quarantine. And so I, we just wanted to get ahead of this while switching to virtual learning is never ideal, the timing actually is because of the holiday weekend. So they will only have six days of actual virtual learning. The other six days will be their holiday vacation. In total, they'll be apart from their schools and, and staff and other students for 12 days, and they hope that's enough to slow the transmission throughout the district. They all return back to school as of now, Monday, December 6th. Shayla? Marielle Mose reporting. Thank you so much, Marielle.